All right, here we go again. This time it's on Philado Castillo, guys. Talk about Philado Castillo. On Saturday, July 2nd, 2016, at 7.36 p.m., two black males with handguns entered a Super USA convenience store in Lauderdale, Minnesota, and stole cash from the register, in addition to several cartons of, you bought, cigarettes. On Tuesday, July 5th, the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension posted photos from the robbery and asked for help in identifying and locating the two suspects. A bolo, be on lookout, alert was also issued for individuals fitting the description of the suspects. And again, the links are below. You can look at the pictures. Nobody can confirm if it's the same guy as who was shot, Philando and the thief, but they're not exactly polar opposites when it comes to looks. So again, you can look at that and uh, decide for yourself. On July 6, 2016, Philando Castile and his girlfriend, Diamond Reynolds, were pulled over by police officers Geronimo Yanez and Joseph Kauser in St. Anthony, Minnesota. The vehicle also contained Reynolds' four-year-old daughter from another relationship. Officer Geronimo Yanez on police radio said, I'm going to stop a car. I'm going to check IDs. I have reason to pull it over. The two occupants just look like people that were involved in a robbery. The driver looks more like one of our suspects, just because of the wide set nose. Castile was in the possession of a handgun at the time of the stop, and in the following minutes, police officer Geronimo Yanez shot Fernando Castile four times, killing him. So, it's important to understand, there is a robbery. The um, suspects are caught on video, and the reason why the cops pulled over the car with Philando Castile in it was because he looks like one of the suspects in the robbery. So, that's very, very important. And why in Dallas the shooter was angry at white people? Well, the police officer Geronimo, Geronimo Yanez, not Scottish, not Scottish, his lawyer and his longtime friend have both described him as Latino. Well, a Latino shot this uh, black man, but I'm sure he's a white Latino, just like George Zimmerman, so that you can get a wide net of anti-white hatred going. After the shooting, Diamond Reynolds began live-streaming video to Facebook. Now, <coughs> this was a little confusing for people. Uh, it showed a mirrored image, leading to many people incorrectly believing that Reynolds was driving and Castile was in the passenger seat that Castile was driving. Castile was hunched over unconscious and bleeding while Reynolds calmly noted that they were pulled over for a broken taillight and that her boyfriend told the officer he was carrying a firearm for which he had a concealed carry permit. Now, what's interesting is that pictures seem to show that there's no broken taillight. Now, that doesn't mean that this woman uh, is lying. It could be, of course, that the officer came and said, you have a broken taillight in order to evaluate the situation without raising the alarm or the suspicions of the people in the car, the potential suspect. Now, the attorney for the officer, Geronimo Yanez, uh, has said that Yanez was reacting to the presence of that gun and the display of that gun, not race when he shot Fernando Castillo. The Ramsey County Sheriff later commented on Twitter, noting that, quote, Mr. Castile never applied for a permit to carry with our office. Therefore, we did not issue his permit. This does not mean that Castile did not have a permit, but it was not through the local Ramsey County Sheriff, right? So uh, if there's a gun in the car, of course, uh, one way you could buy time is saying, no, 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 I've got a permit for this gun. Uh, and again, we don't know for sure that he didn't, but certainly didn't come through the local county sheriff. Time will tell whether or not there was a permit or not. The Star Tribune is reporting that a source has confirmed to them that Castile did have a valid permit, but that has not been independently verified by other media outlets. It remains an open question. However, however, if the cop is coming up concerned that there is somebody who committed an armed robbery a few days ago in the car, he's going to be nervous about a gun, more so than if it's just a broken taillight. And the pictures do seem to show that there was a gun under the hip in the seat of Castile, Philando Castile. In the video, you can also hear a clearly panicked officer Yanez yelling, 
I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hands off it. And instructing Reynolds to keep her hands visible due to a weapon being within the vehicle. And look, going for or brandishing a gun when an officer has a uh -huh. gun trained on you. So yeah, this is the truth about Phil Castile. Step by cop, that's suicidal. Mm -hmm. Anyone does that. Hear that, guys. So it's Philip Castile's fault. There it goes. Standing. 